I think I probably was about 13, 14 years old. I tried something, tried scratching their records on their record player. Okay. And, you know, yeah, the parents were, wasn't happy with me messing up their records like that. And so um, once I got older, um, I still had the passion for music. I love music, man. Um, I saw one of my, I'm a plumber by trade. Okay. Um, and I saw one of my colleagues DJing at a carnival, a big carnival. Mm. And I know he's a plumber just like me. And I'm like, brother, how you get on the stage doing a big carnival and you're a plumber like me? He said, man, get the records, get the equipment and go for it. And that's what I did. And I chose a market that I knew, which was gospel. And at that time, I'm going to say it was about 1995, 96. It was unheard of. Okay. It was almost tabooish to mix gospel, to put a hip hop beat with gospel. It was unheard of, but I was wanting to try it. I felt like the young people was going to fall in love with it, and and that's how I got involved. I hope I, I hope I answered your question. No, you did, man. No, and speaking of gospel, and you said earlier that you weren't really feeling the music that your parents were playing. Mm-hmm. So. What was the transition? Like, what actually got you into, like, what was the artist? What was the song that really, you know, made you switch up and, hey, I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into gospel, but, you know, I'm going to add, I'm going to add those hip hop beats behind it. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to blend it up like you're doing now and killing it. too. So what made you, you know, what made you head into that lane? Um, So my dad was an Andre Crouch type of guy, whinings and sold commission. And so when I heard the songs, the the songs touched my heart, okay. but it didn't move my feet. Mm. So I said, how do I flip this where I touch the heart and move the feet at the same time? And so I said, I like the beats of the urban industry. I okay. love it. And most of the beats come from Christian producers, which most people don't know, like yeah. your dog Childs and all of that. Yeah, like, man. If I take those beats that they're using on the urban side and mix them here, man, this is gonna be phenomenal. And at the time, folks shunned me. They said I wasn't saved. They said I didn't love the Lord. Mm. But I kept going. And there was one guy. His name was Craig Brower, and he's my partner. Um, he fell in love with it, and uh, we got together, came up with a name, and we started doing this, man. And been holding on ever since. If you're enjoying the content you're watching right now and you want to level up and create vibes at all the events you DJ at, well, make sure you subscribe to us right now.